It was one of those storms that will linger in our memories. Mid-December 2006, trees went down, power lines fell, power poles snapped and thousands of customers were left in the dark and cold. Tacoma Power Crews had more than a week's worth of very long work days before electric service was restored. Over 16 hours then, and then uh, the next day after four hours sleep, work 18 hours, and then I had four hours sleep last night and started at five this morning. At Tacoma Power's Energy Control Center, dispatchers orchestrated a complex and systematic effort to direct field crews to the problem areas. The huge panorama schematic of Tacoma Power's entire electrical system helps dispatchers keep track of crews, problems, and working circuits. But this is probably the worst I've seen it in regards to uh, damage to our system. Came in from the south, so our the south end of our service area, you could really kind of see it on our uh, computer system. You could watch the, the substation breakers open and as the wind came. Initially, Tacoma power crews stopped working because trees and power lines continued to fall around them. At the height of the storm's aftermath, nearly 100,000 customers in more than half of Tacoma Power's service area were without power. I think we had somewhere in the neighborhood of about 70 poles that were damaged or completely broken off. And when you get into that um, type of damage, it, it takes a lot more time to restore that because uh, you got to replace the pole. You got to re basically rebuild your system uh, from the ground up. As with other storms, like the inaugural day blow of 1993 and the February 2006 storm, Tacoma Power quickly responded to the devastating December outages with every available employee. Did you, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting you calls from all over town. We've got about 80,000 people out right now. While Tacoma Power Crews made repairs in the field, employees from other parts of Tacoma Public Utilities staffed phones at the Trouble Center where customer calls came in. When there's a storm at Tacoma Power, everyone who can react, especially if it's a big storm, is, is on board. And we have people who answer the phones, people who are out fixing the lines, and it really takes all of our employees to get our customers power restored as soon as possible. Storm-caused power outages are to be expected, and Tacoma Power Crews work year-round to keep the power infrastructure strong and service interruptions to a minimum. Tacoma Power regularly replaces old equipment and insect-damaged power poles that would be at risk during a windstorm. We keep track of our poles. Uh, we, have, we actually have a, um, uh, one of our guys, he goes out and checks the poles, and. Uh, they make a determination whether it be date or whether it be uh, uh, bug damage or just, just, just rot. Regularly trimming and maintaining trees around power lines is another important step that Tacoma Power takes to keep the public safe when a storm hits. Tacoma Power employs six full-time crews that ensure Tacoma Power's 2,000 miles of transmission and distribution lines are free of trees and branches that could fall and short circuit the system. Well, we can eliminate all the tree damages that's going to come because we're going to have some trees that fall out of the right of way into the lines. But when we minimize the impact that are underneath and the trees that can break over top, then we reduce the amount of time that it takes to repair the system and people get people back into the power. Tacoma Power also prepares to weather major storms by keeping a large inventory of poles, wires, transformers, and parts on hand and ready for repairs. The December storm also reminds us how important it is for customers to prepare ahead for rare, prolonged power outages. You know, the best thing customers can do to get ready for winter is have blankets on hand and just think about if, if they were going to be out of power for a couple of days, what types of things would they need? Bottled water, canned food, um, keeping cell phones charged, things like that so that you can communicate and you can keep your family warm and fed if you have no electricity. It's a good idea to prepare an emergency kit ahead of time and keep it handy. You should also take a look at your yard. Make sure there are no branches or trees that could damage the service line to your home. Tacoma Power only trims trees in the right of way. Customers are responsible for maintaining trees within their yards. Tacoma Power will drop power lines free of charge if you need to safely remove a tree or trim near a power line. If you hire a contractor for tree work, make sure they're insured and bonded. In the event of a power outage, turn off everything except one light. 
Check to see if your neighbors are also without power and then report the outage to Tacoma Power by calling 502-8602. In most situations, calling the utility once should suffice. A lot of customers think they should call back an hour later or something. Once we have that outage on file, we don't need to hear from our customers again. If it goes past a couple days, then yeah, it might be a good idea to call in, but most of the time um, that doesn't happen. It's not easy to estimate how long the power will be out. Tacoma Power prioritizes fixing damage to large transmission and distribution lines first, then power lines reaching from the substations into neighborhoods. As winter storms loom, Tacoma Power wants to offer some reminders to customers and an assurance that its crews are ready to respond in case the power goes out.